dating a guy or are getting married, you would like to think that your sister would be thrilled for you. Well, not the sisters on today's show. They say they hate the men in their sister's lives. And now I'd like you to meet Tanya. Tanya says her sister Tammy is wasting her time being married to Terry because he is a loser. Why is he a loser, Tanya? Because he's trash, because he don't know how to work. He uses Tammy for anything and everything she's got. He don't care. He don't respect her. I mean, if he told her, get on your hands and knees and bark like a dog, Tammy, she would. Oh, I don't think so. Yes, you would, Tammy. No. This man's got no. you so whooped, no. you don't even know your name anymore. If you say, if someone, if I ask you how you doing, he'll say, I don't think fine. So. He'll That's answer you. for you. No. That is you. no I mean, he, he don't work. He won't work. He so he does work. No, when? Yes, when he, does he work? He Tell was working me. when we, when the... When? Come on, make up no <laughs> lie. Come on. I'm not making up no lie. He does work, and you know he does. When? He, he works work, for... Work, putting his butt on the couch, telling you what to do, when to do it, and how to spend your money <laughs> is the only work he ever has and only no, work he's he going to ever no, do. He so, don't. Tanya, no, you don't. say that your sister supports him? His, yeah. Anything. I mean, she supports his clothes. Food, anything. Do I you mean, think that he's taking advantage of her? Using her. No, he's not. So if, if she wasn't doing these things for him, he, he would wouldn't be with her? her uh, but. <laughs> but they're married. I mean, there must be some sort of commitment here. The there only, must be some sort of love. Their baby. The That's baby? The only thing is keeping them together. Now, did they get married before the child was, was born or mm -hmm. after? Before. So, so they you, did you get again. married just because of this child, Tammy? No, we were married uh, a year and a half before the baby was born. Do you think uh, he treats you right? Yeah. Has he ever done anything wrong? Well, we separ yes, he has cheated on me. And we were separated. He cheated on you? Yes, he did. Uh, how many times, Tammy? Not cheated just once, Tempest. Four, five, ten, fifty. I've caught him once in a bar. You caught him? I've caught him lip blocking a woman in a bar. I'm talking about giving no mercy. They needed some oxygen bags. Wait, when did you catch him cheating? About um, it was about a year ago this month. Did you tell your sister? Yeah, she's the one that sent me up to the bar. She said, Tanya, I think um, I have a feeling that Terry's cheating on me. Will you please go up to the bar and see, you know, who he's with? And sure enough, he was sitting there just getting it on. With Why didn't woman. you go, Tammy? Because she a, knew. She knew he was going to be you, there. I had my children with me, and I, I couldn't leave them to go see. So if you got we to were, send your well, sister. We were having problems at that time. We're but not if you're so suspicious now. of your husband and you're sending your sister to go check up on him and she finds something, maybe your sister's right about him. Well, we were separated when we got back together, and everything's better now. Everything is better? Yes, everything is better. What about all the cars that this guy has gone through? I understand that you've had many cars because he keeps wrecking them. No, uh... Blowing up the motors in them. How many cars have you had? Three. Well, we, all together we've had about eight, but... In the last three months? In the last three months? No, in the last three months we've had about four. What about right now? Things are good between the two of you? Yes. No. So yes. then, no. Yes. But see, no. yes, they are. How are they good? I want to know how they're good. Because when you are in so debt, Tammy, your utilities are getting cut off right now. You tell me how it's good. You got your new van taken away from you. Driving a I blue not... clunker. It's you know, purple. Purple, orange, it don't matter. It don't care. run. Yes, it does. It but got Tammy, to the airport. look at how you all are fighting over, over your husband. How is this coming business. between your I'm relationship? She stay out because I've heard it's what? gotten a little bit more than just verbal between the two of you. You all have gotten in physical fights because of her husband. How does that happen, Tanya? Because she's stupid and ignorant. She... How do you get in a physical fight with your sister over who she's married in her to? Head. Maybe if I beat the crap out of her, she'll realize what, what, what loser he is. What happened when you all... What happened when you all got physical with, us, with, you, with each other? Yes. And Which time? Well, yeah. There's How many times has it happened? About four or five times. What have you done to each other? She's busted out my windshield. I busted out her windshield. I've chased Terry around with the knife. I hit him in the um, knee with the ashtray. I popped him in you the mouth. You chased her husband around with a knife? Yes, over a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> chased him with because a knife over a hamburger. Mad. She got mad because uh, a ham so we were cooking hamburgers and 
her boyfriend didn't get a hamburger. And that's because that's because my boyfriend was at work and he deserves lunch. You know, a working man deserves lunch. When not no loser sitting on his butt wanting to eat whenever, and he should have enough respect. That was my home. He had, he should have it enough was respect. Our home. It was to our wait home. till I got my boyfriend's dinner cooked. Then his lazy butt could got in there. How and about the time when he so wait wait wait? Tell me eat. when you felt compelled to pick up the knife over him. When he a told me I wouldn't do it, he told me that I, I and that he wasn't scared at me, so I was gonna make him scared at me. And were you seriously gonna yeah, hurt him? I was gonna, I was gonna stab him. Yes, she was. Are you with them because you think that you can't find anybody better? No, I can find anybody I want. Then why don't you do it? Because I love him. I want to be with him. Will he stay with you if you cheated on him? No. Yes, I have um, cheated on him. When? Just a couple, just a month ago. Just a couple, what? Just a month ago. Does he know uh, this? No. Yes, he does know oh, this. It was a Why are you cheating on your husband? No, she did not cheat I on did him. I did Yes, I did. All you did was kiss the man. That's no. cheating. Yes. No, well, he deserves it. I'm glad for it. Congratulations. Wait, 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 Wake wait, wait. Up. Tanya. You want your sister away from this man. You want them to get divorced. Is right. that it? Yes. And Tammy, what does your marriage mean if you all are going back and forth cheating on each other That's all the time? That's the first time I've done it. And I did it because I still had a little bit of anger in me from when he was cheating on me before. That means then you don't need to be with him. To the sister, but experience is, best, is the best teacher. Other. Don't you think you should let her live and learn? No. Why not? Because I'm all over and I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna stick up for her. But if it takes if it takes everything in my mind Tanya, to wake her up, I'm gonna do it. Do you think you're setting a good example? It seems like you're trying to say, I'm right, you're wrong, you shouldn't be with this man. You're chasing him around with a knife over a hamburger. Well he better be glad I didn't catch him. <laughs> we wouldn't right. we wouldn't be here right now because we wouldn't have to worry about that problem. Tanya, I really hate to hear you say that. I hope you're not going to let this drive you to getting physical with this man. It's not worth it. I know it ain't worth it, but she is. Absolutely, but it, that's her decision. She has to make that choice that she doesn't want to be with this man anymore. I'm the one that lives with him. I'm the one that loves him. I'm the one that's married to him, not so, you. So, Tanya, when you marry him, that's when you I wouldn't give him. the man time to die. What about what but, you're with? Tanya, What's I'm going to give you the opportunity to give him your opinion. Terry, come on out. When we come back, we're going to hear Terry's side of the story next. Now, we've heard what Tanya thinks about her sister's husband, Terry, but now it's time to hear what Terry has to say about Tanya. So, Terry, what do you think about the fact that Tanya wants you all to divorce? I, I think Tanya needs to stay in her own business and worry about her own relationships and leave everybody else's alone because she's got, she's got the same problems in her relationships. Yeah, no, 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 yes, she no. does. You got Let a me man. Tell you something. It won't work. Even, no, it don't yeah. matter. You no, got a man. No, you got a man. No, no, it no. don't work. Listen, he said that you work. You don't he even don't. know what work is. Who uh, bought them shoes? Boy? I bought these Who shoes. Who shirt did you got on? You got my man's shirt. That's all right. That's all right. So you need a hush. That's all right. These are my shoes. I'm not working. Who's your rings? You got your ears. Thank you. Work so, Terry, butt. when she says that you do not work, you do not contribute, and her sister is supporting you, is that true? Her sister's done, uh, Tammy's done a lot for me. Okay. You know, I, got, I got into some trouble. I, I went out and I got a checking account while we were split up. I, I went kind of wild on my checks. I thought, wow, this is easy. So, I just went out and I started just getting anything and I wanted. Write some bad checks? checks? Right. Okay. Um, at the time, me and Tammy were split up. Whenever I got picked up and everything, she had my little girl. I called my mom and dad and asked her if she would if they would ask Tammy to bring my little girl up that I'd like you to see You all have her. a child together. Yes. Wait, Tim, yeah. but let me tell you something, okay? When yes. they were split up, he was with another woman, right? But when he got through in jail, he wants to see the baby now. He wants to be with Tammy now. But he didn't want to until he got through in jail. I wanted to see the baby in the first place. No, you didn't yes, because I there did. So you're saying that when he needed someone to get him out of jail, that's, that's when, when he called your sister. That's when he called Tammy. He went with Tammy when he was out of jail. But when he got through in jail, oh, I want to be my, I want to be my dad. If I want to be your husband. If I don't want to live with you, I don't want to be back with Tammy to get so that Tammy get me out of jail. Tammy, you're saying that when he needed someone to get him out of jail, that's when he called your sister. That's when he called Tammy. He went with Tammy when he got through in jail. Oh, I want to be my, I want to be your husband. If I don't live with you, I don't want to be back with Tammy to get so that Tammy get me out of jail. Tammy, you're saying that when he needed someone to get him out of jail, that's when he called your sister. That's when he called Tammy. He went with Tammy when he got through in jail. Oh, I want to be my, I want to be your husband. If I don't live with you, I don't want to be back with Tammy to get so that Tammy get me out of jail. Tammy, you're saying that when he needed someone to get him out of jail, that's
I, I, I know then I've done it. I understand. Wrong. Tammy, you have two previous children from another... To, from another Three. relationship, right? Three. And, and your children are biracial, the two? I have two that's biracial and one that's white. And, and then our new baby. And Terry, I've heard that you make comments about the two biracial children when you get upset. No, I did one, one time. Just one time. We, we, were, time. we were arguing. She, she done some things to make me mad. I done some things to make her mad. She said some things to me that she didn't mean, and I said some things to Wait, her that I didn't mean. It was in a note is what it was, but he uh -huh. let his ex-girlfriend write this note about the children she, that he's he, supposed to love. She wrote it. That's what I just said. Won't you pay attention? That's what you need to do is pay attention and look she, and listen and see what's going on now, it. not what went on six months ago. Now I'm looking at now. What no. are you doing to benefit my sister's I, life? What do you I think I'm doing? Sister, I love my sister. And I do too. And I'd be damned if I'm going to sit by and let a lazy man well, then you take just over her to, life. Then you need to do something with your man and get him out of your life. They together now, right? Yes, How long y'all been back together? Since December. So she put that hickey on your neck? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you got them eyes! Hey, 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 no, she you. put the hickey on your neck to make the no, eyes look goody goody is no, what it was. Hey, I just no, want to know the lady in the middle. When you cheated on Tammy, when you cheated on him about a month ago or whatever, did you do that to get revenge on him or to try a little thing on your own? No, I did it to... Get revenge. She probably got tired of the old stuff and wanted something no, new. No, I don't think so. I'm not like you. I don't get from men to men to men to men. I'm not the one that's got my men lined up like you. I yeah, don't have to right. have a different I got it going man, on, and that. that's because I ain't going to be stuck with the Excuse man me. like that. You're Hello? stuck with a man like that no, now. Okay, wait a second. Uh, okay, what, the last audience week? question. Go ahead. You know what it is sometimes, you know, love can make you blind, and sometimes you need other people to help you see. And I tell you what, if he's treating her wrong, he's going to read what he sold twice as bad. Thank you. Hi. Uh, the two sisters, maybe you're too involved in her relationship and you should give her some space and let them seek marriage. I counseling. have gave them space. No, and it's you always have not. Been You've the been buried in oh, our Tony, marriage, in you, our life Tony, since the day we got yeah. together. So let me ask you this. No, I what, come to you, you to talk to you because you're two sisters. That's right. What and would I you I do hear, if you saw them in a destructive like relationship? Yours, so. What would you do? You can only advise someone, but it's up to you to take that step on your own. Nobody can push you there. You have to take that step for yourself. And he has to seek counseling if he's abusive or anything if he's drinking. Yeah. Thank he's you. He's not a drinker. He, he's not. He used to go to the bars so, a lot, Tammy, but he don't now. Are you happy in this relationship? Yes, no. I am. Yes, I am. You're getting all you want out of your relationship yes, with Terry. No, how are you getting all but what you, you want? I want to, I want to know. I, I want, want you to tell me. I want a man to care about me, to take care of me. Take care of me? me are you getting, are are you, are you, are you getting anything? Are you getting How's anything out of the relationship that you want? How? Are you Why getting you anything out of your that? relationship? What? We're talking about me, buddy. We're talking about you Why can't we talk about you? You can talk about me. Why can't we talk about you and your sorry life? Why you keep up in Tanya's face as if, yeah, my relationship is horrible, but yours isn't any better? It's not. But she tries, she tries to make See, that's not a good enough reason. Our, our relationship ain't as bad as the way she tries to make it. But just because she has a bad relationship and other people have bad relationship doesn't give you an excuse to make her relationship bad. I'm you know not making saying? her relationship no, bad. No, I'm saying your relationship. My relationship isn't bad now. But you it has keep saying, been well, past. your man isn't working either and stuff oh, like he, that. Oh, he started a job, what, last week? Now, now he's... But we're asking, why working? don't you he's have a job? Let me tell you I something. I am. I do that, have a job. That man, I started working well, for Let me tell y'all something. This, that my man at 19 is more of a man at 19 than you ever been at 28, buddy. I promise you that. I promise you that. He's a man that you ever what do you think that your sister is missing in her relationship that she is not getting from love Terry? Love and attention that she needs. I get attention. Love and attention. Timmy, Timmy. He gives me attention. He gets up with the baby. He takes care of me. If I don't want when to you, do something, When you tell him, him to, you say, Terry, at nothing. the airport yesterday, who was, who was carrying Skylar everywhere? Huh? Who was running off and leaving us for 10, 15, 20 minutes? Who would we not see? Who we had the page? Because we six in the midst of our flight. Terry, oh, because I went to get you a pop. No, Oh, what? Boy, you, did, you didn't drink none of it. Tammy. You didn't drink none of it. We you just need to sit back and say, I'll tell you what. I'll tell, tell, tell you what. I'll tell you what. If you want mine, if, if you want mine and Tammy's Tammy, relationship to work, why don't you just past? move somewhere away from us? That way it'll work. Tammy, boy, you say that he's cheated in the past. Aren't you worried about AIDS and about 
What's no, going on around? he used protection. How you so sure he used his protection? How do you know? How do you know? Everybody could say that. See how, see how whipped she is? She believes I everything he point. says. That's an excellent point. If you have violated the trust that it takes to have in a marriage to go out and cheat, but you trust that he used protection. He cheated on me, but I trust him. Well, that doesn't make sense to me, Tammy. That's how dumb she is. I'm not dumb. You're blind, and I'm here to guide you through this to you're get you the gonna, hell away from here. Well, you're not going to guide me nowhere. The only place you're going to guide but us you is further what? apart than what we already are. Well, you can I'm either gonna... be happy for me or shove and stay out of my happiness, life, period. Happiness to me, don't put clothes on your baby's bags. Don't put dough in your stomach. It. When he's taking that money, your no, kids are on you. No, he's not. Tanya, I think something that you need to realize, if she is in this relationship, there's obviously a reason. Okay, and whether she's getting she's something, if she's, she's getting afraid, something she positive get or she's else. getting something negative, she's getting something that she's looking for. And until she decides that she doesn't want to be with this man anymore, there's nothing you can do. Yes, there you there go. Is. So now you no. just need to stay out of it. You and leave us what alone are you going to we'll do? Are you going right. to tie her up and keep her in a room? And that's what it takes. You ain't on tie nobody up, and you ain't on do Tanya, nothing because that makes you're no either sense. on sense. The only thing you can Except do for your sister together, is be there for her love. and pick up the pieces if they fall apart. That's all you can do is love she her. She wants me there. She wants me there. Well, I'm there, but I'm sick and tired of picking it up every, every other day, every day, oh, every, day every day, every day, every day. I don't ever think so. That, no, we don't even fight like but that. See, you know it. You're letting your sister's choices with her <laughs> husband mess up your relationship with your sister, and that's what should always remain. We used to be best whatever friends. Mistake men, whatever mistake she makes with men, whatever mistake she makes with men, you shouldn't let away. that get between your relationship with her. You know, because you all love each other, you should be there for each other that's for the right. rest love of your is life. Thicker than water. Then why don't she just take my advice and dump him on his life? Because it's her life. So if you tell her go jump off a bridge, she ought to then take your advice and go jump off the bridge. Too, okay, go jump off a bridge. Oh, I, I'll jump you off the bridge. Go jump off the bridge. Off the bridge. You said if somebody tells you to do it, you're gonna do it. Get out and go do it. I will. I realize that it is not easy for you to sit back and watch this relationship that your sister is in and think that it's a horrible relationship and that she's being hurt. But sometimes that's your only choice. We'll be right back. We are back and we have been talking to women who hate the men their sisters are dating. And now I'd like you to meet Stephanie. She says she hates her sister's boyfriend, Mario, because every time they fight, she gets dragged into it. Now, Stephanie, what's wrong with Mario? Well, first of all, I had no problem with Mario and Teresa's relationship when they first started going together. Mm -hmm. But when, they, when Teresa got pregnant, I mean, I know they fought before she got pregnant, but, and Mario didn't hit, never hit her back. He never hit her back. It was, Teresa's kind of aggressive. Uh -huh. And like, <laughs> and <laughs> Teresa, Mario never hit her back. But when Teresa got pregnant, Mario started hitting her back. And that's when I, that's when I uh, had problems with everything. You started hitting her back when she was pregnant? I hit her back all the time. Anytime she hit me, I hit her back. Anybody hit me, I'm gonna hit her back. Don't matter who it is. No matter what a woman does, I mean, they don't ever get the deserve to get hit by a woman. So wait, 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 wait. You think it's all right to hit a woman, let alone a pregnant woman? If she hit me, yeah. So if you think that that's all right, why don't you just get out of the relationship? Obviously, you don't need to be with somebody that's going to hit you. Why don't you just leave? I don't hit her straight up. She hit me first. It doesn't matter. Saying? Why can't you walk away? She's carrying your child. Because she hit me. I'm not going to walk away. I'm not going to sit up and get my butt beat all the time. She why are you with a woman that's hitting you? Maybe you shouldn't be together. I love my, I love my woman. The, I love my woman. Well, if you all are hitting each other. That's her. I hit her back, though. That's, that's, I mean, there's no comparison between a pregnant woman and an able-bodied man. I don't feel that a man There's be, never a fair he, fight between a man and a woman. I mean, if, even well, if she had a man, man we'll get it back. Even if she... Even if she attacks him, he can hold her and walk away and come back when she calms down. You know, there's let no me clear excuse. this up just for one second, Mario. I think it's wrong for her to hit you. I don't think anyone should be hitting anyone. But I really think it goes to a completely different level when a man starts laying hands on a woman. Because if she lay hands on me, it ain't right. So she's so going to get hit back. So you're just going to be not right, too. You're just going to be as, as, as ridiculous and silly as she's been. Is that she, what you're going to do? She hit me, she's going to get hit back. That goes for anybody. Go ahead. I have, um, 
I have to tell you something, but I don't think it's right. Because when a woman is pregnant, they go through a lot of changes. I mean, a lot. Well, that's You know, change. maybe it could be because she's pregnant, you know? She ain't got to hit me. I think you're What are you going to do? How old is your child? My son? Yes. Six months. What if, okay, what if your child is one and say your child hits you? That's different. That, that How is that different? That can't compare it to a woman. Why can't it? It said it won't hit, it don't hurt. Oh, so this woman, woman is just, just knocking you to the floor, he, he huh? Don't, okay, listen, he, he, don't, he, don't, he don't know what he's doing. He don't know what he's doing. She know that's wrong. If she hit me, she gonna get hit back. be quiet, don't I? Come on, go ahead. It takes a real man to walk away rather than hit her. Well, it take a real woman not to hit me. We've gone on about this a lot. Stephanie, I'm going to ask you to tell me specifically what other problems uh, that you see is going on in your sister's relationship. But before we start that out, let me bring Teresa out here and hear what she has to say about all this. Teresa, please come out and join us. is wrong with your sister's relationship in your opinion? Okay. I think that when Teresa and Mario have fights, yeah. she takes them back because he'll do stuff like buy nice things. And I, don't get me wrong, he takes very good care of the, um, the baby that they have. Yes. But he, it seems to me like he's trying to buy his, her love. To make like up she'll for buy, it? He, she's gotten, for Christmas he bought her a TV, VCR, entertainment set, brand new end tables, uh, gold leather coats, and I mean, I, that's beautiful. You know, that's really beautiful, but I don't feel that should be used as a compensation for doing some of the wrong things that he did. Are you just in this relationship because of what he gives you? No, I'm in a relationship because I love him. Why are you in love with the man that you're getting into physical fights with and is hitting you when you're pregnant? I forgave him for the stuff he did when I was pregnant. Things got better after I had the baby. But when you all are getting into physical fights, you're hitting him and he's hitting you. Where is the love in that? And you're doing it now in front of a child. We're not really fighting now that the baby's been born. It's more verbal than physical. Have you ever sought counseling because of this? No, but Mario had agreed to go to going to counseling for okay. our problems. Yes, you did. I'm not going for that. Not going? Uh, no? Okay. If she hit me, I'm going to hit her back. So... How does your sister, if this is the that's relationship... Not, that's, that's really not, not fair, Mario. No, it's not. Because he's like, what, 6'4", and she's, what, 5'2"? Five five that's no comparison. He well, can be her any was, day of the week. I mean, that's no fair, comparison. He, that's no okay. comparison. Especially Teresa, a helpless pregnant he, If woman. your sister has so much to say about your relationship, why do you involve her in it? Why do you call her with your problems? When he's hitting you, why do you call your sister and say, come get me? Because she's my sister, and sometimes I need someone to talk to. So I call but her if up. you're asking for her help, why don't you accept it? Why don't you get out of the relationship? I try to. T I, I mean, I try to talk to Teresa. I say, she'll say, "Well, what should I do, Steph?" And I'm saying, "Well, I, my opinion is, you leave the relationship. If someone hits you once, they're gonna hit you again. You leave the relationship. <laughs> so I can't. The advice that Teresa, the advice that the type of advice Teresa wants me to give her is, how can I prevent him from doing this? How can I prevent him from doing that? And I can't, I mean, I don't see how you can prevent somebody from hitting you if they're hitting if you. If someone cannot control their anger, and it seems like both of them can't control their anger, it, it's, you all need to part. My, my anger is control. I'm just saying, if somebody hit me, I'm not, I don't have to be angry or not. If you hit me, you get hit back, regardless. Um, excuse me, from past experience, I'm gonna let you know, the hits, hello, right. the fighting and the hits are gonna get worse. I'm scared for that. I'm serious. Hello? Hello? You ignore me. You and your relationship with your man, you're not happy because the whole time I'm sitting here, you have such a sad face, Tammy. You have not smiled. That's a fake smile. And you with the I hits, don't ever smile. the hits are going to get worse. They're going to get worse. Yeah, for me, for her hitting me, yeah. No, it's not like that. So, Tanya, you wanted to say something just a minute ago. Go ahead. You know, at first it'll just be a slap, then it'll be a black eye, and then on and on and on. Then you're gonna, you, you know, That's you don't know how. I mean, you can just hit a woman one time and hurt her or kill her. I, I mean, I ain't like, come on, man. Go yeah, on I, that's what I was uh, very afraid of. I was afraid of getting a call one because they would have, they had one fight, and Teresa went back. I went downtown and tried to do all the necessary procedures so she can press charges or whatever. 
but she didn't follow through with it. And I mean, I was afraid when she went back to live with him, I was afraid that she was gonna, I was I gonna see, get a call that. I see don't press tires on me if she starts something. But I'm saying you can't compare a pregnant woman fighting a grown okay, able-bodied okay, man. Okay, that no situation is done, Mario. I'm you saying. You know that. If, if you start something, how are you gonna press tires about something that you started? No, that's not how it happened. When how did it happen? Mario did not come home the night before. He was coming home with lipstick on his shirt when I was pregnant. It all started when I was pregnant. And then he took me to work that day, and then he picked me up from work. And I called my sister and I told her, I said, I'm coming to live with you. And I started packing up my stuff. Mario heard me on the phone, knocked the phone out of my hand. I was five months pregnant. He grabbed me by my throat, threw me with the couch. I rolled, I rolled off the couch. I got up. You know, I was pregnant. I was not going to fight him with my hand, so I got a knife. And he was in the car, so I jumped through the sunroof to try to cut him. Teresa. <laughs> What you do is you pack your stuff and you leave. You pack your stuff, you take your child, and you go. If you all cannot have any kind of disagreement in your relationship, I mean, I'm talking just normal disagreements that everyone has without you all getting to it physically or even wanting to get into it physically, this relationship is not right. And you have a child now, okay? And as your child gets older, she's going to, is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. He's going to witness this. And you don't want him growing right. up to think that that's what a man does, right. do you? Right. And when we argue, the baby's like laughing. He doesn't know what's going on. And I tell Mario, you know, tone your voice down. Don't argue around the baby because I know he's hurting. And whenever I'm, feel, you know, feeling bad inside, I know he can feel that too. Absolutely. My comment is, I think what's going on here is Teresa doesn't want her child to grow up, grow up without a father, but their relationship is not working. She can st Mario is a good father to the baby, he is. She can still, he can still be a father to the baby, but I don't think their relationship is really gonna stand up. Well, we're gonna talk a lot more about this when we come back. We'll be right back. We are back, and to help us sort this out, I'd like to welcome back relationship expert and author, Anita Lawson. Now, Anita, I, I definitely want to talk about whether a sister should insinuate herself into her other sister's relationship or not. But first of all, what did we say to a gentleman like Mario who seems to think anyone who hits him, including a pregnant woman, deserves to get knocked out? Well, Mario's got some definite serious problems that he has to actually seek professional help on. And, and it really concerns me because, you know, the fact that, you know, she... she when I heard her earlier, she was saying, well, this only happened when I was pregnant, when I was pregnant. That's the most critical point. I mean, you know, if you can't respect your own child, as well as, you know, someone who's supposed to be very important to you, that, that is extremely sad to me. And it makes me think that maybe there's something else more so that has happened in his life where he had said, if they hit me, I'm going to hit him back. Nope. Something a little bit deeper it's there. Not, no, it's not like I'd be knocking her out. She'd be she aggressive. She'd be on me. Mm. I'd just be hitting her to get her off me Did so you, we can stop. But Mario, you don't have to hit a woman to get her off you. You don't know how just she is. Just walk away. So, you're, <laughs> you, you could walk away. Y all, y all, you could leave the apartment this. until she calms down how, or whatever. You can't walk away how, like how, that, like with this one here. How, 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 how can you leave with that guy? Are you, 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 you going to tell me if a woman comes at you with the knife, you're just going to turn around and you're going to walk off and just let her go? I don't think so. I'm not. you're not a man, so that from you, I'm okay? more of a man than you'll ever have, baby. So you don't just sit down and keep your nose at everybody else's about business. Being a man. You this is awesome. all very confused, and let, we are, it's not right for anybody to hit anybody. Exactly. And Teresa is just as wrong putting her hands on him. But it's never a fair fight, and a man should walk away. If you, that I try. But she be on me, hold me, and I can't move, so I push her to get her off me. Then you, if you're with a woman that's putting her hands on you and forcing you to do that, in your opinion, if you can be forced, shouldn't you get help or get out of this relationship? Where is the love, Mario? Are you happy here? And yeah, yeah, he was, he was yeah, cheating. Happy, happy. Anita? Wait, wait, I mean, and he was, weren't you cheating also in this relationship? She said I was. I See, was. Okay. Yes, well, he was. In, in any type of cheating, whether it's a man or a woman, she they do was. that because they're feeling that they're missing something in the relationship. And it, I just looking at him, he's not happy. This no, is not a happy man. And I can say I'm that for several people. And he could be a father to his child and not necessarily be in a relationship with Teresa. They can exactly. both raise this child. And it would probably be a much healthier relationship. Absolutely. As well. But let me ask you this. What does the what do the sisters do? when they are watching all this happen to their sister. 
that's a hard question to answer because you know the sisters you would normally think that sisters are close and so forth so you know when anyone comes to you and says uh, uh, you're doing something wrong to my sister or uh, giving an ultimatum you want to take it seriously but especially a sister and it's very scary to see the situations that I'm seeing up here people ask you know um, why do people get into bad relationships? Why do they stay in bad relationships? And you know, there are lots of reasons, but two specifically would be that you know, the men up here are supplementing some need that the female uh, does not have. There's a hole in their life, and that is extremely dangerous. Yes, it because sure when is. you allow somebody to have that type of control in your life, you give them, in essence, control of, of what you do, who you are, and so forth. I mean, she seems like a very nice person, but she's so quiet. You know, look over here. I mean, it was it uh, Tammy? She seems like a very sweet person as, as well. But did you see in the but very beginning? But you know, when you say that she's quiet and timid, you know, I understand exactly what you're saying, but Stephanie is quiet and timid also and no. doing it just fine, isn't she, audience? No. Nobody's what, in an abusive no, relationship what, or anything like that. But what we're talking about is some uh, some need that's not being satisfied. Mm -hmm. You know, some the need to be uh, to be wanted, to be loved, to be admired for affection. But don't we have to provide that for ourselves? Yes, we do. That's the whole point. When you allow somebody else to supplement that, you put yourself in a very dangerous situation. The second issue here is fear. There are a lot of fears that can either complement or stand alone. You know, there are fears that are self-induced or that come about by society. The fear of not being married by age X. The fear of not having a child by this mm -hmm. this month. The fear of uh, being alone for the rest of your life. The fear of, if I let this guy go, I won't be able to find someone that has at least these characteristics. No. Those are very real fears. And I think the men on this stage also deserve to have healthy relationships. That's and true. they should say, am I being satisfied in this relationship also. We'll be right back. Now, Anita, on today's show, I didn't think we would be talking about this particular topic so much, but there have been some real issues of abuse that have come up. And you were saying earlier that a lot of women are afraid and don't know how to get out of this type of relationship. Do you have any advice about that? Well, I think the first thing is, of course, you have to be honest with yourself. A lot of people lie to yourselves about what is important to you. Mm -hmm. Number two, I think that um, the way you get into these situations is that there are holes in, in your build, you know, mm -hmm. and you ignore those and they, until it becomes obvious that you have to address them, like your need for affection, your need for family. Go resolve those issues. Don't try to cover them up with some other bandage. You know? Yeah. And then uh, in terms of a spouse, someone had mentioned this a long time ago, you should make a list in terms of what you want in your spouse. And then from that list, you know, all these various things, try to make that true of yourself. And you know what else? Sometimes guys make it, well, not, no, let me stop myself right there. That's not fair. All right, here you guys. Sometimes people, both women and men, make you feel as if what you need in the relationship isn't important. Maybe you need a, someone to call you two times a day and let them know, just mm -hmm. say, I love you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you need somebody that's going to be extremely physical. Maybe you need somebody that's going to show you affection and all that kind of stuff. Exactly. And people make you feel like you're wrong because you need it. That's Admit right. what you need exactly. and go honest. out there and find it. Exactly. If the person that you're with is not willing to give you those things, mm -hmm. then find someone who is. She, Absolutely. Won't, I mean, she ain't going to ever have time to find anyone decent if, I mean, if she keeps this loser around. That's true. I mean, well, but, but Tanya, no matter how much Tanya wants her to get out of this relationship, Anita. Maybe she can't Tanya force her, right? That's my right. See, because well, maybe Tony notice. either needs to accept the fact that I'm going to be with him, whether you like it or not, or you can stay away from. Well, us. then, uh, Tammy, I guess that means that. Uh, I mean, you, you, you are fine. stupid. That's you are fine. very stupid. And you're just you need stupid. a hug. This is all you because of you that we are the way we are. No. We was a happy family until you're losing butt came along. Uh, 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 we have to take a break right yeah. now, but when we come back, happy. I'm going to find out if Tanya is really saying that she's removing herself from her sister. We'll be right back. We are back. Now, Tanya, when you moved your chair away, Tammy said basically, if you can't accept that I'm going to be with him, then get away from us. Is that what you've decided to do? That's what I'm going to do. If she wants to be chained up and walk like a dog and be treated like a dog later, I am sick and tired Can of Can you do that? Because it's a lot harder to do than it is to say. No, because you can't keep her nose out of everybody else's business. No, no it's because she it, loves no. her sister. No. When, when, when because, my because sister comes want, over, cry wants, and tell me that you left her, to bend that over. is my business. She wants when her she sister to bend over and kiss her butt so that she can business. lead her around like a dog no, so that no, she can no, do no. whatever she when wants she to do with her. I know what the sisters need to do. Yes, Mario? All the sisters need to stay 
get their own business. They need to get their own. Then y'all need to quit making it our business. They need to get their, I think I think uh, the sister's I, I, jealous, I like her sister. Wait, I think, no, I think no, she's no, jealous of her because I, I treat always, my woman right. I do everything for my woman. You know what I'm saying? In a way, I think I think I think my I think her sister want me. That's what it is. You want me? Think she want me? She want me. That's what I think it is. I take care of my. She uh finding uh she comes just why does she have to put up with coming home finding five ten numbers in your um pockets is that love? She find numbers I ain't calling. Is, is I'm that chilling though? Do I want to be treated like that? I'm gonna I find me a man that's gonna, so. you gotta find that's you gonna treat me like the if lady you, that I am. If you get out of our business and find you one, you will no. find one. You know what? You know what? I'm I, I'm not in your business because I love my sister. She and I, to, I know I can't. She needs to stop I, calling And you I know too. she loves you. She needs to stop calling you And I know too. if I come in between your relationship, then that's gonna interfere wanna, with our relationship that we have. And I love my sister. How do you? How does Stephanie watch this? I'll tell her because she can say. Teresa can say, I'm not calling you anymore. I'll keep it between me and Mario. And then, God forbid, something happened. Yeah, I don't want a phone call. It's her natural instinct to call her sister. Well, what is it? Stephanie's on, on, a, on a seesaw Mario here. Wants to keep the arguments on the DL. When he that. gets mad when I call my sister or my mother and tell him what's going on, you he wants to make You know what would solve all of this? Right. Right. If there were so no Mario more arguments. Knows, Mario knows it's wrong. That's why they're he don't the, want me the to tell anyone. Crazy. They're the ones that make her, make her fight like that because they've been going through that behavior stuff that's, like that that, that think it's fighting is okay. This is so, where I'm, where so I'm, where deep, I'm, where Anita. I'm from, where I'm from, you don't fight like that. You don't fight. When you talk, you talk it out. You don't hit a person just because you get mad. That's how, that's how she is. That's how you are. I hit her back. I don't hit her. I don't he I this don't, is so I don't deep, Anita. We really can't address all the issues that are going on in these relationships. But you know, maybe you could spend some time talking with him after the show. Yeah. And and I hope everyone's gotten something out of today's show because we've really tapped on a lot of things. We'll be right back. If you ask for your sister's advice about the problems you and your man are having, and you don't like what she has to say, don't resent her for it. And remember, you asked. Thanks to all our guests and our wonderful studio audience.